Welcome everyone. Welcome here to my video debates on SCP-006, the Fountain of Youth, versus SCP-4885, Waldo. For example, here is my, um, just to tell you here my disclaimer, this isn't a versus a battle to see which one of these two SCPs would win in a battle. This is instead a video on if SCP-006 can truly protect you from SCP-4885. Now just to tell you, I'm doing my philosophy on both of them, so my philosophy on the truth on both of them, and I'm, and I'm doing my hardest to keep it as, to keep the truth as a truth as it truthfully can be, for example. So can SCP-006 protect you from SCP-4885 if you dive in its liquid and you become invincible. Okay, can it protect you then? Will you be protected? So that's my question here. So let's uh, uh, learn about the description of both of these two uh, SCPs first of all. SCP-4885, also known as Find Him in his description, is essentially Waldo or Wally. Uh, like a creepy, creepy version of Wally from, uh, like the children's, uh, Where's Wally, for example, the, the cartoon book Where's Wally. And, uh, basically if you know his location, he'll teleport to the nearest wall before teleporting inside of you. So he'll teleport to the nearest wall to teleport in, then after that teleport inside your body and rip out your, all your internal organs before climbing out of your mouth. Secondly, it does not sound good. It sounds terrifying and that's what it is. And he only does that when you know his location. He'll teleport inside. Doesn't matter if you know his location by, by not purposely. If you know his location, he'll attack you. So he's extremely dangerous. You have to be very careful not, not to know his location. Whilst SCP-006 contains a, um, I think it's like a, a, like a lever on the Fountain of Youth, actually. Like, it has to be off. Otherwise, if it's on, it will burn you or something like that. Like... A lever or a button, I have no clue exactly, but it has to be turned off, because if it's on, it will burn you, but it has to be off, and if it's off, you take a dive, and you're invincible, and there's nothing that can harm you, so basically nothing that can harm you, nothing that can hurt you, so basically how would this work here between these two SCPs, so I have the feeling that, um, SCP-4885 is extraordinarily dangerous, and it's a cataclysm SCP, which cannot be, which theoretically can be contained, because if you know he's contained, well, that's, knowing he's contained is not knowing his location currently. If you know his current location, that's when he truly attacks you. But I would not advise to know his location until you take a dive of SCP-006. So do not know his location. So I have a feeling that if SCP-006, you like, you turn the lever off, you jump inside, you are immune to anything. You might be immune to SCP-4885, but but would this, like, you might be invincible to SCP-4885. I'm doing my current philosophy on uh, what I have done, my philosophy on this. So, yeah, you, you will definitely be immune to SCP-4885 because you are definitely invincible. But but will 4885 become more tougher until it surpasses that invincibility? If that's the case, 006 is not truly making you truly invincible. So... Uh, can SCP-006 protect you from SCP-485? Short answer, I do strongly believe, yes, it can be. But but this would also prove that SCP-485 will not leave you alone, which might be pretty annoying, actually. You would be, he will not be able to hurt you, but he will just not go away until you're dead, basically. So I would not advise you to just don't know his location until you take a dive of SCP-006. Um, uh, or have some other SCP's protection with you, or... Get some other SCP to know its location, but not to tell you, for example. So, definitely SCP-006 can protect you if you turn the lever off, or button off or lever off. You are invincible now. Not even a Tesla gate can electrocute you, basically. Nothing can hurt you, not even SCP-173, not even anything. Nothing can hurt you. So, if nothing can hurt you, you can now know SCP-4885's location, Safely, because you are invincible by SCP-006, because now SCP-006 has made you invincible. So, anyways, I do hope that uh, th this was a good educational video. I do believe uh, in my estimation that that's just to my estimation that SCP-006 can protect you from SCP-4885, but just to tell you that you are invincible, this does not mean that you are omnipotent, uh, like sometimes like invincible means that you cannot be destroyed, but that does not mean that you are omnipotent, which means that you might be protected from 4885.